Welcome back here, tuned in the closing bell, and we are coming to you live from the CNBC TV 18 Motilal Oswal newsroom. Well, we've got a bit of a party that's underway for the Bulls. The Nifty holding above that 18,000 odd mark for the first time since January 25th. Nimesh joins us to tell us what's going on in terms of D Street chatter. Well, Nimesh, you know, when you got up this morning, you saw the SJX 50 under pressure, but the data points suggested it's providing a good entry opportunity. It's played out well today, but what's the buzz? So, you know, uh, I guess the move is only the last 15 20 minutes of trade. Otherwise, it's been a day of consolidation, been pretty much, you know, in that narrow range. I guess, you know, two things. One, for the Bulls, the Reliance is fighting out. So, that's been a big mover in today's trade. Mm -hmm. In fact, for the last two days, that's been the feedback, right? That there is, a, there is buying interest back in mm -hmm. Reliance, right. and that's, that's helping the Bulls. On the other side, uh, you know, Liver is pu pulling the Nifty down. You know, that's, that's one big index stock where there is concentrated selling. It'll be part of my charter as well. So, that's, that's playing out as far as uh, um, overall Nifty is concerned. In terms of flows, uh, the sense is, it's not it's not backed by very large buying interest you know uh, yesterday we saw th uh, there was a small market market close buying as well the fi number was positive yesterday was the first genuine positive number the previous two days was Kofosh. largely you know mirrored by uh, by block deal so uh, yesterday was as i said you know was a was a pure pure uh, fi buy figure after many many days and that was the first initial sign that some bit of fi flow is back and i guess that was largely driven by large flows into reliance and some large cap names. Looks like that's been the trend today as well. I guess uh, the only sector which is still under pressure is the financial names. Mm. And within that, the private sector banks is where there is a bit of supply coming in from the larger FI. So that's the overall feedback as far as flows are concerned. Technically, 17, 800 is, is, is out of the way now. So we are, we are having a bit of a you know, momentum rally for the bulls to participate. And the good part is it's backed by some large cap names like Reliance and, and, and the IT names which are doing good. So, so that's 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 positive. But largely, it's 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 a day of consolidation with a mm. positive bias. But I guess today is not a day when there is large FI buying. Is the feedback from the dealing? You know, Nimesh, we don't mind them not buying too much, but they should not sell. The True. way they were going hammer and tongs, you know, we just needed them to take a bit of a backseat and it would help us. And today, clearly, the IT index is doing well, and Reliance Industries, both of them, playing well. But you were mentioning HUL. That's What's right. the buzz out there? That stock is under pressure. That's right. So no, that's my first stock. So uh, among all the large cap names, this is the only stock which is largely under pressure. And there is, you know, very strong sell flow is, is, is what I understand from dealing rooms. So it looks like some of the larger FIs is, are looking to book profit or sell a large chunk of HUL. So that's the reason why that stock is under pressure. The second stock is Embassy Reads. Uh, if you look at the chart for the last almost six months now, the stock has been largely consolidating in a very narrow range. Now the feedback is uh, a large selling pressure from a leading FIR seems to be over. So that is one stock to, to be focused on. The third stock is uh, Keystone Realtors, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the list, newly listed company, Rustamji, uh, Rustamji Developers. Uh, the indication is there's going to be a large block in, in that particular stock very soon. So that's something to track as far as uh, Keystone Realtors is concerned. And the last one is Max Financial. You know, big move in that stock in the last in the last one, two hours of trade. And, and for, the, for, the, for a very long time now, the street is anticipating a large deal uh, in, in Max Financial very soon. And hence, that stock is buzzing in trade today. Right, uh, <clears throat> uh, thanks very much, Nimesh, uh, for that. Uh, so that's uh, good getting uh, a list of names to